So I've been doing this video log, or as the cool kids call it, vlogging. I've been doing this vlogging for the last couple of days, doing a vlog. It's kind of a cathartic type of outlet that I'm doing. Trying to broaden my horizons. And again, I still don't know where I'm going to go with this or what I'm going to talk about. I admit I've watched a couple of them and I've cringed once or twice. I don't like the sound of my own voice on a voicemail answering machine, let alone on video. But it's something where um, I'm getting out of my shell and, um, you know getting ready to do some more stand-up comedy, and this is a great way for me to work on my public speaking and uh, to potentially embarrass myself on the internet. But uh, yeah, so if you guys uh, like what you see, you like the videos, you know, just spread the word, give me a like, or go on YouTube, subscribe to my these videos, to my YouTube channel. It's actually Matt Frazier comedy and uh, I'm actually hoping that some of you out there hate what I'm doing I want some haters because we all know that haters watch more than likers oh Christ that's something that I gotta stop doing I have to stop doing this air quote stuff when I talk I hate that I don't like when people do that so why should I do that. It's, it's, it's annoying to see that when other people do it. It's, it's just, well, what you're thinking here is, I don't even know what you're thinking is. I don't, I don't know what that meant, but these little bunny rabbits, they've got to stop. It's, it's just annoying to watch other people do it. If you do it at a bar, if you do it at an interview, if you're doing it at a meeting and you see somebody across the table do this, well, I think that we need to do X, Y, Z I mean, you just want to smack that person repeatedly. I know you do. At least that's what I want to do. I really need to stop doing these bunny quotes. It's a very tacky trait that someone picked up, thought it looked smart. It's not smart. It's not. It's not smart at all. It's actually dumb. God, it's so annoying. Someone, you know, I was thinking about it the other day, and there's something that I can't do, my, that I, my facial features, I cannot do. I wish I could do it, but I can't. It's winking. I can't wink because the wink is so, it's like if you see someone going down the street that you, you think you should know, you know their name, but you don't know their name. You should know their name, but you don't know their name. You just give them a wink and you keep going. Or maybe you see a girl at the bar and she's attractive. And you want to put a social cue out there that, you're, that you think that she's attractive. You give her a wink. I can't do that. I wish I could, but I can't. If I try to wink, I do this. like. Looks like I'm a victim of a traumatic incident from when I was three years old. Like a birthday clown diddled me in a closet or something. And every time I think of chuckles, I just like start twitching. Like, can't wink. My three-year-old nieces wink better than I do. I don't know. But, um, I don't know. Instead of winking, I wish, I was thinking about it. And, you know, I think that something that would work for me in social environments would be Instead of a wink, if I see an attractive person at the bar, I just do like the, the two thumb salute. And that two thumb salute would work well for me. I mean, it's something like, hey, you know what? Whatever you're doing, whatever you're putting out there, it works. Two thumbs up for you, buddy. Because unfortunately, some of us out there can't wink. And I know there's some people out there that can't wink, and I know you feel my pain. I know I'm not the only one. Anyway, I got to get going. Take care. Have a great day, guys. Peace.